Greetings. Welcome to the Lookout on Outlook series brought to you by the Teaching and Learning Technologies team within the Division of Technology Services at the University of Wisconsin, River Falls. Today we're going to look at setting up recurring calendar appointments. Many of you uh, who are teaching classes have class schedules that run on Tuesday, Thursday or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And as you remember in our um, previous system of the Thunderbird uh, email and calendar and the Oracle calendar system, the classes were automatically preloaded for your semester. In our new system with Microsoft Exchange using Outlook and um, using that as email and calendar all in one system, they are not preloaded anymore from ESIS. So you'll need to set up a recurring appointment and I'm going to show you how to do that in Microsoft Windows and in uh, the OWA internet system and we'll also have some screenshots uh, within the email that I send out um, for the Microsoft Office 11 2011 version for the Mac. So let's get started. Right here we have a calendar and we're going to create a recurring appointment here. I'm going to do it at 9 o'clock on Tuesday. I'm already in the Tuesday um, section so double click on that. It comes up. It's at Tuesday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Let's make this music 100 and we can put in our room KFA um, 324 and I can change the time here so I can double click here or I can click in there and move that so maybe my class starts at 950 and maybe the class stops at 1040 and we'll put it in like that and that's the one day that it's the very first day that it's set up on. Now to make it a recurring appointment so that it happens throughout the semester and appears on my calendar and all those dates we're going to check the recurring uh, button here. So click on this button and now we have the start time, the end time and it's going to be a recurring pattern weekly so it's going to recur every one week on Tuesdays and if I have Thursday classes check this Tuesday and Thursday box now it's going to start on this particular date and I could say end after so many occurrences but I want to choose the end date end by click over here and we can go through the picker and this particular uh, year classes end on May 4th so we can put that in there the finals are the following week you can adjust your calendar later on and I'm going to say OK and it comes back here and it says occurs every Tuesday and Thursday effective on January 24th until May 24th from this time till that time so you can double check here and in here I can put in any uh, course notes to check and if I wanted to put notes in there for myself on particular days I can do that so I'm going to save and close this and now you see down here it set it up on Tuesday and it set it up on Thursday but let's say um, somewhere down the road like um, the week of uh, student break I need to adjust that or say I'm not going to have a class or there's another class I'm not going to I know I'm not going to be there or we're going to meet at a different time I could do that so I can come in and find that particular class if I wanted to rearrange the whole series maybe I want to change the time I could right click on that and um, I could also go in to open this up whoops actually yeah right click on that it's not working here right click on that and I can do different things in here delete it if I need to or forward it or invite a different attendees or I can open it and then say open either this particular occurrence or open the whole series if I open the whole series I can change the whole time and date um, effective throughout the whole series if I wanted to do it for an occurrence so let's say this particular occurrence I'm actually going to go and move it here so we're going to go pick through uh, let's take February 13th. So let's say on February 13th I know I'm not going to have class. I'm going to rearrange this and I can either delete it here and delete just the occurrence or the series or I can go in and add notes to that particular one. So I'm going to go in and add notes, open occurrence and I can add won't, whoops, won't have class. If I could type right here, that never happens to you, right? Won't have class today. So, and this particular day on Tuesday the 14th at this time, 
I know we're not going to have class. So I'm going to save and close that. It only affects the notes that I put in there for that particular occurrence. And if we we're going to do this in OWA, it's very similar. I'm going to bring up OWA here. And if I want to look at the calendar here, I clicked on the bottom. I come into the calendar. Let's say I want to do it on a Wednesday, Thursday. I can open this time, double click this right here in that area. Uh, music 200. And it's going to start on Wednesday at 10. I can check right in there, click in there and change it to 1050, leave it to 1150, or change it to something else, 1140. Uh, enter special notes here and on this particular one put in the location KFA 300 and when I want to do recurring here in OWA I can do this right here on this little button here click on that I get a similar type version of um, recurring patterns and it's choose weekly let's say this one I'm going to do on Wednesday Monday and Fridays and then I'm going to end date by March or April nope how about May we're gonna go on May 4th and we'll choose OK so now that's gonna occur every Monday Wednesday and Friday 1050 to 1140 effective this date ends on that date hit save and close and they're added in there and I'm done so now you see I have my classes my music classes on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday I'm gonna be pretty busy and there you have it I will have some information about the Mac in the particular email have a great day